here with Scott the Scott Man. We're here to do a drive video today. We are heading west on M45 here in the Grand Rapids area. We'll be driving the entirety of M45 today from where it begins over here at I-196 just west of Grand Rapids and we're heading all the way to where it ends at Highway 31 to the southeast of Grand Haven. It is a beautiful but hot day today. I'm seeing a single cloud in the sky right now and it is around 87 degrees Fahrenheit so if you convert that to Celsius it's a little over 30 degrees so yeah it's a hot one for for late June and we're already having to stop at a traffic light here or not it looks like it just turned green So yeah, but anyway, so right now we're in the western end of Grand Rapids. So this highway pretty much serves like a lot of the areas in the west of, immediately west of Grand Rapids, and then also parts of Walker, and, and eventually heads out toward Grand Valley State University, which we'll be going by the campus in a little while. But I figure since I'm out in the Grand Rapids area today, it's like might as well film a couple of driving videos. Well, the one I did already was on Highway 131, coming up from the Kalamazoo area. Yeah, right now I'm checking out some different different restaurants in the Grand Rapids area. And right now I need to get over, but it's like, yeah, there's so many people in the left lane because yeah, they're going like 15 under the speed limit right now. to the south a little bit when you turn left at Collindale Avenue here. Alright, now I can get over. Oh yeah, big thing I may have to. Right lane might be close up ahead. So anyway, turn off to Collindale and just wiggle, wiggle, your, uh, wiggle your way south. You'll get down to Millennium Park, which is a beautiful park. Lots of beautiful trails back in there. And there's even some areas we can walk along the Grand River. It's a really impressive park. I can see her going over there later today off camera, but it's a little hot out today. Yeah, I've only been on a small stretch of M45, but I have never gone this way before. Because, yeah, it's like I never visited any friends or anything like that who went to Grand Valley State University. It's like I never really had a reason to come out this way. But, yeah, this is the main way people would take to go to Grand Valley State University if they're coming from, well, from one Grand Rapids, but also from the eastern side of the state, like Lansing, Detroit, Flint, any, like anywhere on the eastern half of the state. <clears throat> yeah, it looks like they're, yeah, they're doing a lot of, a lot of development in here. Yeah, that's cool. So yeah, just a short, just a short work area. Nothing too crazy. Yeah, right now we're technically, I would say we're in Walker now. This isn't really Grand Rapids anymore. Well, we're in the Grand Rapids metro area still, but this is, I think this is technically now we're in Walker. Which Walker is primarily a, a sub western suburb. And yeah, as we come over into here, we got a little bit of like a, like a smaller shopping area. The larger shopping area in Walker is over on M37 as you go north of I-96. But this is like a smaller one. Just got some smaller stores. 
different food places, even some fast food restaurants too, like at Taco Bell up ahead, of course passed by Hungry Howie's Pizza. It is pretty nice though that the, that the bus system for Grand Rapids comes out this far west. And you also got a McDonald's over here. And then up here is the intersection for M11, which, oh, there's a Chick-fil-A out here too. So yeah, this is M11, which I filmed a video not too long ago on, on M11 in its entirety. So yeah, this is a pretty busy intersection because you got yeah, everything from Panera Bread, Pizza Hut, Arby's, Chick-fil-A, and you also got Meyer, you got Jimmy John's, Applebee's. I'm trying to see some of the other places, but yeah, lots going on over here. see a little bit more once you get over to like the Allendale Township area. Oh, I didn't know they had a Freddy's Steak Burgers here in Michigan. So I don't think I've ever seen one in the Detroit area. But it is interesting though how it's like, yeah, even though Grand Rapids is in the same state as Detroit, it's still, it's still Michigan, but it's like, there's been a lot of food places that are over here that are introduced here before they've come over to Detroit or even have gone over to Detroit. Because like, yeah, Freddy, yeah, Freddy Steak Burgers, I, again, I've not seen one in the Detroit area. If there is one, then I'm not aware of one, but they got them over here. But I, I've seen them in other states. It is nice that this is a five-lane highway here, but it's probably because of the university, which is coming up in, in, in a little while. But yeah, we're technically now getting out of the out of the, like the main metropolitan area. Because we have now we're in a nice little transition to some of the more rural areas of. Western Kent County. That is the interesting thing about Kent County, though, is that even though Grand Rapids is the second largest city in Michigan, with Detroit, of course, being in first place, there are still some areas of Kent County, which, of course, is home to Grand Rapids. There are still areas in the county which are kind of rural. And, heck, even Wayne County, which is where Detroit is... Like the far western part of Wayne County is a little rural. So it's rather interesting how quickly you can transition from being in the city to being like in the suburbs to just being out in the country.
I say, looking forward to doing that trip, and then, and then a couple weeks after that, going to going off to Calgary, Alberta for like a long weekend. I'm having to use a vacation day for that one, just because there's no holiday in the middle of July in either the United States or Canada. And yeah, right now this yeah, according to that sign, yeah, we're in the Grand Valley now. As we're about to cross over the Grand River just up here. The Grand River is the longest river in the state of Michigan. Because it starts out southeast of the Lansing area. And then it continues its way all the way to Grand Haven, Michigan, and empties out into Lake Michigan. And then, yeah, the Grand River goes right through downtown Grand Rapids. Alright, so we are now driving along the northern perimeter of Grand Valley State University. And we're now entering Allendale Charter Township. So, yeah, so anyway, so yeah, the campus, yeah. The campus for Grand Valley State is coming up in like less than a quarter of a mile from here. And yeah, here's the entrance, here's the main entrance for Grand Valley State University. So I have never been in that campus before. But I, I know they're, I know for their, with their athletics, their football pro program is supposed to be really good. They're only in Division Two. They're not like Division One, which is the same NCAA division that has like Michigan, Michigan State, Central Michigan, Western Michigan, like all those universities. But for Division Division Two, Grand Valley State is supposed to be a, at least historically, they've been a pretty big powerhouse. I'd be curious if Grand Valley State would ever one day make the move up to Division One or something. I feel like that they could totally do that. And yeah, we're going to have to stop here at this traffic light. Yeah, as I was saying, yeah, this is my very first time in yeah, Allendale Township, so... This is kind of new for me. Because, yeah, all through throughout this area, we should be seeing different areas, like especially where like a lot of university students would be going to for food. You know, just pass by a Taco Bell, there's a Dairy Queen, there's a Culver's on the other side. Yeah, Domino's Pizza, Jet's Pizza, Arby's, Tim Hortons. So I'm sure a lot, a lot of university students head over here all the time. Maybe not so much at this time of the year because it is summer, and a lot of people take people take less summer classes than they do like fall or like winter semester classes. It looks like it is getting down to one lane here. Yeah, I saw a sign for McDonald's. Too. Yeah, almost missed it. We've got a Mexican restaurant off to the right. Despite the heat, it's a very nice day today. If I were to say back in the Detroit area, there was going to be a lot more clouds and I think more humidity too because like, there was like a, because Detroit's like in the western end of a low pressure center right now where we're not in an area of low pressure here. Although there is a chance of rain and thunderstorms tomorrow throughout the state, so I'm glad I came out here today and not tomorrow. Yeah, a lot of different restaurants re yeah, restaurants along in here. See a little like minor shopping complex off to the right there too, or back there, but there's a little smaller one to the right. You can see like Hungry Howie's and Subway. And if you need to file your tax returns, there's a H&R block as well, too. And then, yeah, you got the supermarket to the left, family, family fair supermarket. So, yeah, 
this is kind of, like, kind of like a business district for the area. Not really seeing a true downtown area. But then again, everybody probably goes in this Grand Rapids if they're looking to go to a lot of the great food places, go to the breweries, and like just have a good time. Because it's not that far from Grand Rapids. I got a little bit of a backup for this traffic light here. With it being every everything's down to one lane here. Yeah, we're definitely not gonna be making this light. <laughs> it might not even close. Yeah, so yeah, this is probably the worst tra traffic I've seen the entire day today, even coming over to the west side of the state. And if you're looking to get up to I-96, it's like you're going up toward Muskegon, yeah, you can make a right turn at this traffic light. 68th Avenue will take you all the way up to I-70, I mean, sorry, I-96, and then you can, from there, go west of Muskegon. The good news is we're starting to get out of the area around Grand Valley State University and Allendale Township, so... Things should get a little bit more calm. Because I, I would say the rest of this video, we're primarily going to be in rural areas of Michigan. Oh yeah, because yeah, now it's just becoming just a two-lane highway. Although even out here, they got some, they got some newer subdivisions. It is a nice way to live in the Grand Rapids area, but not live right in the city. Yeah, we still got quite a bit of a ways to go still. Like video if you'd go just a couple more miles to the east we'd be in downtown we would have been in downtown Grand Rapids even on the farmland or on farm country yeah it's some newer subdivisions so lots of development going on here it wouldn't surprise me if I was driving this 10 years ago if that was all clear to the right Grand Rapids is a very, or that's not worded correctly. It's like there is a lot of expansion and a lot of growth in the Grand Rapids area. It's like many people are moving to the Grand Rapids area. Although I probably wouldn't see myself living out in this area year round just because they get a lot, Grand Rapids gets a lot more snow in the winter than Detroit does because of the lake effect snow because yeah especially when to, in the grand rapids area especially to the west of 131 like they can get quite a bit of snow in the winter just because of lake michigan which is usually why once it gets to november or especially december i'm usually not out here in this area till march or april at the earliest Big greenhouse, like a really big one. Yeah, I will say, yeah, Michigan has been kind of dry this past month. There has not been a ton of rain, although I think oh, over a week ago there was quite a bit of rain, so so we were able to get a little bit of a break. But even like yesterday, it rained in the 
eastern part of the state. It's like it rained in the Detroit area, but it didn't really get out this far west. We turn left here at 96th Avenue. That will take you down to Zealand, which is the neighboring city east of Holland. And yeah, we're, we're now in Robinson Township. After I finish filming this video, I am going to be making my way back to uh, back to Grand Rapids. I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to get back over to Grand Rapids, but I'll, I'll figure things out. It's not all that difficult. As I was saying at the beginning of the video, this goes all the way up to Highway 31, but it does not quite go all the way to Lake Michigan, at least as M45. But it is a good way to go if you're trying to go to Grand Haven from Grand Rapids, although te no, well, technically there's a better route that you can take to go from Grand Rapids, because what you can do if you're going to Grand Haven from Grand Rapids, just take I-96 West and then you can get off at the M104 exit and then head due west into Grand Haven. That's probably your better option. Just enjoying the summer so far. It's like, yeah, I don't it's like I don't talk about sports as much as I used to in these driving videos, but it's like, yeah, there's not a lot, like a whole lot going on right now. Because during the summer, it's usually just baseball. Although, of course, this, this, by the time this video goes up, it'd be well afterward. But I know like the the, the, the Wimbledon temp Championships for tennis will be coming up soon. So it'll be interesting to see if, uh, if uh, Novak Djokovic can add on to his Grand Slam or the number of Grand Slams won because he's already beaten the, the record. He has more, more Grand Slam wins than Nadal right now. Because, yeah, he, because, yeah, because, yeah, back during a, back during a, Roland Garros or the French Open, yeah, he, Djokovic ended up winning at Roland Garros and bypassed the, the record set by Nadal there, because Nadal unfortunately had to pull out of the, he had to pull out of Roland Garros. Hmm, gotta like with this traffic light. And then, yeah, once August comes along, then we got, like, the preseason for football. And then, of course, September is when all the sports stuff starts to begin. Like, first with football, then start getting, and then October is when, like, hockey and, 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 and the NBA basketball starts up. So, in this intersection here, this is M231. So, M231, if you take that to the north, that'll take you all the way up to, back up to I-96. That'll also go up to M104. Okay, five miles to Highway 31. So we have like another five, six minutes left in this video. So we're wrapping things up in the next five minutes, approximately. Until then, just enjoy more of the Michigan countryside. Lots of different farms. But yeah, it's like, yeah, and then yeah, with, yeah, with basketball and hockey, it's like we, we just, the champions for both NBA and the NHL, like we had teams that had never won a championship before, which is really cool to see. Like we had, in basketball, we had the Denver Nuggets win their very first championship, which yeah, was pretty interesting. It's like last year, the Colorado Avalanche, the hockey team won the Stanley Cup for hockey, and then a year later, being 2023, the Denver Nuggets won the championship for the NBA, and then in hockey, 
Kentucky, the Vegas Gold, Golden Knights, on of course Las Vegas, they won their first championship, and the franchise has only been around for several years. So it's always cool to see teams who have never won a championship before win a championship. Because yeah, there are still teams in the in hockey and basketball and football and baseball, I think even too, which have never won a championship. But yeah, it's like with there not being much on TV these days. Like I don't watch a lot of TV to begin with. But it's like it allows me to it allows me to do other different things too. And of course, especially with the travel stuff. Because yeah, anything with travel, like this is my biggest passion in life. So it's like it's like if I had a if I had a choice, it's like it's like I'm the type of person, it's like if I was given a choice to either go on a very exciting trip to like Japan or India or South Africa or Brazil or to go to the Super Bowl I would pick the trip to I would pick the trip to like Japan or India Brazil or South Africa in a heartbeat like there I would not even think about for one second it's like a really cool travel adventure is much more worthwhile to me than the Super Bowl and I would love to go to the Super Bowl one day with the Super Bowl is like you just watch it on TV and they got really good commercials for the Super Bowl usually. Although I feel like the commercials for the Super Bowl aren't as good as they used to be, but there's still some, 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 some hidden gems in there. Yeah, I think we're approaching Highway 31 a lot quicker than I thought because I think we only have like another couple miles to go. Yeah, lengthwise this hasn't been too bad. This will most likely be the last drying video I'll film for the day because my battery is starting to get a little low. But that's alright though. I was considering doing a drying video over at the Grand Rapids or the Gerald Ford International Airport, which that's the, that's the main airport for Grand Rapids. But as I was looking at the layout of the airport, it's very easy to navigate. It's not like Detroit Metro Airport where it's a little bit more complicated. Even so, that's even not that difficult. But Grand Rapids. The airport for Grand Rapids, that, that one's really easy. Because it's you just go in and out. In and out. It's, just, it's pretty much just one way. Oh, yeah. I see the traffic light up here for Highway 31. All right. So I'm going to get ready to wrap up the video because we have reached the end of M45. So we have driven the entirety of M45 here in Western Michigan. So hope you enjoyed this video on M45 going from I-196 west of Grand Rapids all the way to Highway 31 south of Grand Haven. So if you enjoyed this video, be sure to click that, that, that subscribe button to uh, come along and join me for the venture. And uh, don't forget to click that notification bell so that we know when a new video goes live. Well, thanks for watching. This is Scott with Scott Man signing out.